Hi again, this is Jeff. In this video, what we're going to take a look at over the next couple of minutes is how to unlock the speed of your device and other settings. But first, let's unlock the developer options. If this is your first time to the Stream Machines or um, a Rumble channel. Thank you for tuning in to the first video of how to maximize your Formula Z11 or Z11 Pro Max for maximum performance. Developer options. Developer options are basically almost on all Android devices. I learned about them from a gentleman named Troy Point and others. When you have a uh, Android TV device uh, that's made the top ones, they will have developer options. And I unlock these on every form of the device by doing the same thing. The first thing you want to do on the home page is go down to settings and press OK. And then you want to go ahead and go to device preferences, highlight that, press OK. Then you want to highlight about and press OK. And I'm going to see if I'm right. And I'm going to go right down to build. And I think we should press this about eight times. Now it says that I'm a developer. Once it says that, you want to hit the back arrow to go back a page and go back a page again. And if I go down here, you should see developer options. Once you highlight developer options, press OK. So make sure that the enable developer options are on. And then what you want to do is just go down. Here's some of the things I do with the debugging. I USB debugging, debug mode when USB is connected. I definitely want to have this highlighted because I do a lot of this. I have a lot of USBs connected. Uh, I, I would say do this one, definitely. And then you want to go ahead and enable view attribute inspection. Let me turn that on. Okay, let's keep on going. The next thing, the wire display. Um, we got the mobile data always active. Make sure that's there. Uh, let me go back up here. No need to point a location. I'm looking for a little bit more. Now you want to change the window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. So we're going to change this from one times to 0.5. It just makes everything a lot quicker when you go through all the windows and things of that nature. And we don't need to show view updates. We already did the debug. I think there's just a few more. I don't need to record audio. There's one here that someone asked here. Some of you have external, um, drives. Uh, one of my, uh, Dave Cogburn, one of my longtime uh, subscriber, subscribers asked, is it okay to, how do they, how do you make all the apps eligible to be written on the external storage? If you want to write all of the apps on your external storage, so you're running just everything on your external storage, you can set, just turn this on to force allow apps on external. That's if you want to do that. I am not going to do that. So I'm going to leave that unchecked or, tur or turned off. But if you want that, you can definitely do that. So that's something there. Let me go back up. Make sure I have everything where I want it. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is go to the home page. Now we're back on the home page. Now we got the developer options. As you can see how quick it goes, see how fast it moves between windows and things. It's moving very quick. That's because we changed the animation scale, the, tra the transitions of all of that. You quicken them so they're not hanging up. So that's one of the things there. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna go to some of the internal settings that are in my TV online three that really have to do with like time shifting if you're doing that or if you're gonna be recording on the device. So let's go ahead and do that now by going over to my TV online three. Once my TV online three opens, I am on a channel here. I'm gonna hit the menu button. I'm going to go down to the settings and press OK. These are some internal settings that are also going to help you when you set up your Formula Z11 or Z11 Pro Max. 
So you got the menu language. Um, I'm always going to turn it on on um, English because that's what I am. If you want to turn on the subtitle language, you can do that English. If you want closed captions on for the hearing impaired, this is where you would turn them on right there. You can turn them on if you want them on or you can just leave them off. Audio language, OSD timeout, five seconds. Channel list, I prefer classic versus um, I think it's normal. I prefer the classic. Playback limit off, on screen help, I have it checked or on notification pop-ups, I want on. Player options, this is if you have, um, I'm gonna put buffer uh, time long. This is if you have an external VOD um, player. I don't have any VOD on this device at all. Uh, this device is one of our uh, live TV devices, but I am going to turn on live AFR. And if I did, I would turn that on and I would turn that on. But since I only have live TV on this device, I'm going to turn the live auto frame rate on. Okay. This is already checked on. That's good. So I don't need to do online subtitles. I'm already going to do that in the other video. So let me go back. Now the DVR options is where I really wanted to land. So here's where time shifting. I'm going to do this in another video. With these devices, you can pause, rewind, fast forward live TV. Okay. So you gotta, you have to have an external drive plugged into the back of the device and it needs to recognize you see USB device, Memorex USB. So I'm going to turn time shifting on. It already recognizes my recording storage location and already my time shift storage location. I'm glad that they use an external drive each and every time so it's not eating up my internal memory. Don't ask me why they do that, but you want to make sure that your recording storage location drive and the time shift storage location drive is the same one that is plugged in the box. If it's not recognizable, then you have to find something else to buy to you pardon me to use and that concludes those there let me go back here now there is a color thing so if I wanted to change the color thing look at this I didn't even know this was here so if you want oh wow I am wow wow rubber duck oh flamingo eclipse lagoon purple rain shout out to Prince midnight vibe cosmos asphalt you know I'm going with the rubber ducky, baby. Look at that. I like the rubber duck, and that's what I'm going with. Backup and restore options. I will be doing a video on this on how to backup and restore your data. So that way, if you go to a different device, you can just plug your thumb drive in and restore some of those things there. So we are done with those settings. Let me go back to the home page. And that concludes the first video on... Uh, really uh, increasing your speed and how to maximize the performance of your new Formula, uh, Formula Z11 Pro and or Z11 Pro Max. See you.